Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will set up the Ethernet module for the IOLINK Master, enabling the ITV, ISC20, and other IOLINK devices. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will regulate source pressure activity through IOLINK control from ITV port process data. Let's get started. These are the parts and tools that you will need to add to your air circuit when the module is ready. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication as well. Please review the IOLINK ITV hardware setup video prior to this one. Also, check out the ITV network and IP address video before proceeding. First, complete the tubing for the pneumatic circuit between the ITV and ISC20. Turn on your air source and power. Check that the ISC20 is pressurized. Now, let's set up the IOLINK master for the PLC. Download the EDS file from the IOLINK master manufacturer. Also, download all necessary files for PLC access support, referring to manufacturer specifications. Now, with the IOLINK network running, start a session of Studio 5000. Then, Select and add the IOLINK master EDS file and click finish. Right click on the Ethernet scanner in the controller organizer and select new module. Isolate and select the commercial IOLINK master brand. Then in the select module type table, highlight the IOLINK master model and click create. In the new module table, first, Enter the IP address previously set for the unit. Then enter the desired unit name. Before moving on, click Change, then change the data type to Integer, then click OK. Then save the program and go into Who Active, then highlight and download it to the PLC. Make sure you follow the screen to complete the download and then change over to run mode and finally go into the controller tags. Note the tag device descriptions that were added as helpful labels for the IOLINK master port functions. Now adjust the levels of the ITV output through the register bits as desired and verify the pressure changes through the ISC20 and application. Fine-tune the ITV performance as desired with operation manual adjustments. And now we can see that this pressure regulated application is running through the ITV and IOLINK control. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our other technical training videos to assist in controlling your automation processes.